Rock physics is the uh, analysis of rock properties and rock behaviour at uh, different conditions that we uh, find in the earth. So for instance, um, the pore space within a rock, the, uh, the porosity, but also the ability of rocks to flow fluid, which is the permeability, we can quantify those in the lab at different conditions. So geomechanics is, if you like, a sub-branch of rock physics or related to, and it's specifically the response of rocks to stress and pressure and strain. And again, what we can do in the lab with our instruments is to achieve those conditions of stress and pressure that we would observe in the earth and recreate them with the rock samples we have. Here in the rock physics and the geomechanics lab, we have a range of instruments that can measure various rock properties for rock physics. The triaxial rock deformation apparatus just here is our uh, key, one of our key pieces of instrumentation. And this allows us to measure um, the rock properties under stresses and fluid pressures that we see in the crust. So this instrument was funded by uh, the Oil and Gas Innovation Centre, which is a branch of uh, the Scottish Funding Council, if you like, the taxpayer. And we're, we're very lucky to, to acquire this instrument as it really gives us a step forward in what we can perform, the kinds of tests we can perform. Hi, my name's Sophie. I am a postdoctoral researcher in the Rock Physics and Geomechanics Laboratory, where I've been for two years now. I'm working on um, a three-year project looking at quantifying the anisotropy of permeability uh, in rock samples under varying stress and temperature conditions. So I'll just give you an example of what we do and how this system works, especially with a triaxial rig. This is a sandstone sample, and in this case it's the Darley Dale sandstone from Derbyshire, which is very well characterised already, so we know how this rock behaves, so that's useful to know. And what we do is, that's our standard sample size, and we take a sample of about that dimension, and we put it in a jacket, um, which protects it from the conditions it's about to experience, so it stops oil from actually ingressing into the rock. So we take that, we place that on one of the anvils, that's the lower anvil there, we place that on, and then what we do is, we bring the upper part of the assembly down into contact with that. And so then what would happen is to this sample, in sitting in the chamber, when we've closed the chamber up, we would surround this by an oil, uh, a clear oil, and we apply a pressure through that. And when that pressure's on at the chosen level, finely controlled amount, we then apply a stress, a vertical stress to that. So now we're taking it to conditions that that rock would have, it might have experienced at say up to 10 kilometers deep in the Earth's crust. And we can also apply a temperature to that as well. Once we've got that rock sample stable at those conditions, we then measure the properties we're interested in, porosity, permeability or strength. We also have a uniaxial rock deformation apparatus, which is in the basement which we can use uh, to compress rock samples much more quickly at slightly different conditions and rates, and that provides really useful data too. At least two groups of people are interested and fund the work we do, and these include the Natural Environment Research Council, which is the government, if you like. Uh, one of our current projects with that is to measure the permeability of rocks in response to stress in different directions. And this is largely unknown, but with instruments like this, we can achieve those measurements and find out a lot more about how rocks behave. Industry projects include things about rock compressibility for oil and gas companies, and also the dependence of permeability, flowing fluids through rocks with temperature, which is of interest to people running projects for geothermal energy. So a mixture of students, but also the postdoctoral researchers work in this lab. We have PhD students, both from Aberdeen, but also other universities who come to use the kit. And in addition, we get master's students from both, the IPG program is a key example, who do their independent project work on samples in this lab. In the future, we're hoping to embed more of this material and these, this equipment into the undergraduate program as well. Uh, through AV links of experiments ongoing in the lab into lecture theatres, but also with undergraduate project work being performed in this lab.